G'day you know, viewers, or someone asked in one of my previous videos if a car battery has a dry cell and it's been you know, neglected for a while, can it still be fixed? Well, you know, I do a little bit of a yeah video about what happens if a battery cell goes dry. I'm going to test this one for voltage. I've actually had this thing on charge for four days with a desulfator and I put Epsom salts in the cells try and revive this battery based on um, yeah based on other videos I've seen and yeah it's only holding 10.89 volts I did some hydrometer tests these five cells came up on good they're fine but this one which is a dry cell is showing recharge so it will not budge no matter how long I let this battery charge these are those stay topped up and stay new but this one will never come good so this is actually down to here fluid was neglected and it got down to here and it been run dry and left sitting dry and charging and been in that car when we got it and the terminal that was on here was all full of gunk and corroded away and all full of that green shit that builds up when the acid gets and tracks to the terminal and builds up that green stuff well it actually ruins the connection so you don't crank properly and also um yeah you can't charge a battery properly so once a cell gets too low and it doesn't charge a battery properly from a dirty connection and it's left like that not only is a battery going to be weak but it's going to do damage to that cell so that's how much this battery holds that's why this battery is only holding 10.89 volts so yeah so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 but this has only got 0.89 in it it should be 2 in here to keep, make up 12 volts but it's only got Barely, barely a volt in there. So yeah, that's how destroyed that cell is. Yeah, they were broken down. Gets to 11 for a little while, but drops. That cell's gone. So yeah. So I chuck this transformer on it, put 17 volts in it, charge it for about, I don't know, maybe a minute or two. It'll hold 12 volts, but be like a, as soon as you put a load in it, be like a capacitor and go, boom, drop the load down to its current voltage. So yeah, it'll never hold its full charge again, that battery. And this battery also dates back to 2005, so it's pretty damn old. Almost too old for a battery these days. So yeah, you can match your little quick top up charge, very quick charge and see how much voltage it holds and for how long. Okay viewers, it's on the transformer, just turned on. Yeah, that battery is fully charged at 10 volts and that's what the current I'm getting. Not much at all, very little. You sit this on here, or you're what? It's just going to overcharge at those other five cells. So yeah, no matter what you do, it will not be the same again. I get the multimeter out and do a voltage test. It's almost under a tiny bit of load, but not much. Fourteen point five four volts. It's going into that battery. That's dropped down to fourteen point five volts. So it's only putting three volts off that transformer. Yeah, that battery's not healthy. Yeah, it won't get much better than that for a fucked cell. Yeah. Alright, we'll switch off. Disconnect. Measure the voltage. Now, if there's a short in that cell, this will probably be hot. It's not hot. But yeah. Excessive cranking and rapid charging for no damn reason will also cause cells to short out 
and when you charge the battery again, they'll get really hot. That's not a good thing. That can be very dangerous, a battery could explode. Heating battery like this is not a good thing. Especially if there's shorts, because if it does spark internally and there's a hydrogen gas involved, it'll go bang. Yeah, 12.84 volts, but that cell is not going to hold it for long because it's been damaged from being dried out and neglected. But the multimeter leads a bit bad. Yeah, it's not going to hold that voltage for long. So if your batteries, if you let your batteries um, fluid or yeah, let the electrolyte level and your batteries get too low, usually below this level here. If you look, if you take any of these off a look, and you see the tops of the cells are dried out, and you've only just noticed that, and the battery is still good, top them up straight away. Never let it dry like that, because that's how that you damage cells. So this cell will hold its charge, but not for long at all. So as soon as I put a load on it. That's it. That's going to go straight back down to its, yeah, whatever voltage it had before. So it was 0.89 volts. So that's, that cell is destroyed. So technically, this is a 10 volt battery now. Originally 520 cold cranking amps, but it's never going to hold 14.8 volts again. So once the battery has its cells dried out and been neglected for a bit, that's it. If you leave it too long with dry cells, it's gone. It's wrecked. I mean, this did come good. I got a couple of good cranks out of it, but that, that's it. Only four or five cranks left in the end of that cell, then it finally stopped altogether. So, yeah, the cell sort of collapsed and shorted together, and that's only the beginning of it. So, yeah, I've got to pop some other batteries now. I've got some more little of these. I pop industrial OEM. So manufacturer supplied batteries from Korea. When you buy an LG product, they have some batteries made in Korea that's um, industrial. So this is a Bexel brand. I'm going to be blowing them up. Okay, viewers, well, I've really zoomed in here to get this battery to pop. I'm using my little way around lot. So yeah, 17 volts into a 1.5 volt battery. is what I'm doing one of the time. So, 3, 2, 1. Hot, gonna pop. No, I need a bigger welder. This little tiny ass lay around mop I used to spot, but it's not powerful enough. It's gone to short. Ooh, that stinks. Don't want to be breathing that stuff in, it stinks. Alright, let that vent. Zoom out here. Okay, here got another back so I need to pop. So yeah, we get this one here going. Okay, if yours, I'm going to zoom into it just a little bit more here, but yeah, this is flat out and it's 7.2x zoom, so that's going to be a low quality video, but you'll see the battery pop. And we're overcharging. There we go. Have a moment of chance for me. Some batteries are going to bang someday.
Yeah, it's a bit late in my transform, I see. That didn't pop so well at all, so yeah. Thanks for watching.